Viney B and welcome to my YouTube channel, Viney B's Homemaker Experience. I'm so glad that you decided to join me. Today I'm going to be making a pound cake just in time for the holidays. You know everybody loves a good pound cake and this pound cake is delicious and it's called a five flavor pound cake. And not only is it delicious, it's also easy to make. Even if you've never made a pound cake, and I'm going to stretch it a little bit, I'm going to say even if you've never made a cake before, I think you'll be able to make this cake. Just follow the directions. It's not difficult at all. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Enjoy. All right, so we're going to start with getting the flour and the baking powder mixed together. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sift it. And I'm going to weigh three cups of flour, the equivalent of three cups of flour. So I have my little scale right here. This is my scale. And we're going to put 360 grams of flour into the sifter, which is the equivalent of three cups of flour. And I like to measure it in because it saves me <laughs> having to wash the measuring cups. So I try to weigh whatever I can. We got 361, but that's okay. All right. And then we're going to put in one teaspoon of baking powder. All right. There we go. And we leveled it off. You don't want to put it in like this. You want to always level off your um, baking powder or salt or baking soda, whatever it is you're putting in with a teaspoon, level it off unless they tell you one heaping teaspoon. All right, so now that that's done, we'll just go ahead and run this through the sifter. Okay, and any kind of sifter is fine. I'm just using the old school. This is what I have and this is what I use. You can use any kind of sifter you want. That helps mix the baking powder through the um, flour. Okay. All right. That's done and we'll just move this out of the way because now we're going to get ready to cream the butter and the sugar together. All right, so now you see we've got two sticks of butter and it is soft. And a little tip I'll give you for um, softening your butter. When you take it out the refrigerator, put it in the bowl itself. Put your butter in the bowl and let it soften in the bowl. You know, that way it's easier for you to unwrap. You're not losing any butter. Whatever, you know, as it gets soft, it's already in the bowl, so you don't have to deal with it, okay? All right. All right. So wait, before we put the sugar in, this recipe also calls for, in addition to two sticks of butter, it calls for... a half cup of shortening. And so again, I'm going to, I really hate working with shortening as far as putting it in a measuring cup. It is just so <laughs> involved to me. So I, I really love just weighing the shortening directly into the bowl. That way I don't have any other um, utensils or dish, dishes to clean out. You know, I don't have a measuring cup to clean out anything like that. So here we go. Let's go. Let's see. All right. All right. 
right, we're almost there. Okay, so there we are. We've got our half cup, our two sticks of margarine, and half cup of shortening. All right, so now what we're going to do is cream the shortening and the butter together. You see how soft that was? Okay. Make sure you see how that looks? Didn't take long to get that <laughs> together. I just wanna knock some of this off. All right, now we're going to weigh, like in a negative way, the sugar in. Okay, so we need 600 grams. Okay, so we'll put in 200 grams at a time, which you don't have to, but I'm just going that route. All right, and then we'll put the last cup in. Okay, we're there. We've got our three cups in. And then we're gonna go ahead and let this cream together. All right, we're back. As you can see, we had to switch mixers. The um, My other mixer, I don't know if you saw it or not, but when I went to turn it on to start creaming, the uh, butter and the sugar, it didn't start. <laughs> so we had to switch uh, mixers. So we'll try it with this one. This one's a little larger. I typically don't like to use it um, when I'm just doing, you know, one single cake, you know, like the recipe. But we gotta do what we gotta do. So here we go. We're creaming the butter, the sugar, and the shortening together. just turn that off for a minute. What I'm doing now is I'm getting the eggs ready. We need five eggs and then um, we're going to beat the eggs until they become yellow looking. Okay. And then after that, we'll add them to the butter and sugar and let it continue to cream. <laughs> turn that off for a minute all right so here's our eggs and we're going to beat them until they are lemon colored so they're going to look yellow they look more orangey now but we're going to beat them until they become lemon colored yellow more yellow looking you see how that changed up so when you beat the yolks and the whites together it yellows it out and you don't have to use a whisk you, I mean it's nice if you use a whisk but you can use a fork you know to beat these beat the eggs together alright I think that's enough alright so now we're going to add this in the eggs in Let's go ahead and start. Let's start slow. Whoa. Slow it down. You know, we don't want to throw everything out of the bowl because we're going too fast. And actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape these sides down. 
because we want everything mixed in thoroughly together. And I'm scraping down the top side of the beaters because I want to get all the batter, you know, make sure it mixes again thoroughly. All right. All right, let's start it up again. All right. All right, let's uh, scrape the sides down. You can see how it's starting to, it's looking different, lighter. You know, that's our end result. We want light and fluffy. Okay, this is a cake, so we want to make sure that we do that. Um, you know. All right, we'll put it back on. We've got the sides scraped down. <laughs> This is something you need to do. You need to, you know, make sure that everything gets thoroughly mixed together. All right. All right. I think it's ready. I'll give it a scrape before we add the uh, flour. So you want to do most of your mixing, all of your major mixing is done when you're doing the creaming. When we add the flour, you don't, you just want to mix the flour on, in until it's, you know, just thoroughly mixed in. You don't want to beat it extensively because that, I think that makes the cake tough or something. So don't do that. Do all of your major mixing during the creaming process that's going that use the, the use the time there let the mixer really beat it or cream it together okay so let's slide that over now we're going to go ahead and add the milk and the uh, flour but first we need to add again you know when we said this is a five this is called five flavor cake so we're going to put in let's see We've got butter, wait a minute, and let me start with this one. We've got lemon, so we're gonna put a teaspoon of lemon, and you're supposed to mix it in with the milk, so we'll put the teaspoon of lemon. Oh, let me move this forward so you can see. Uh-oh, okay, there we go. So we've got a teaspoon of lemon, okay. A teaspoon of butter. This is a flavor or extract, okay? Okay. Teaspoon of vanilla. Oh wow, that smells so good. Okay. teaspoon of rum extract not the alcoholic beverage <laughs> okay teaspoon and a teaspoon of coconut All right, and we added that to the milk. Now, 
uh, you can use, you know, whatever kind of milk you like. I have used skim milk and I've used uh, almond milk. Today, since this is, you know, for the holidays, I'm using an evaporated milk, which is going to just add a little more fat to it. You know, and fat always tastes delicious, you know. So, all right. So, wait a minute. Nope. Let me not get ahead of myself. All right, so let's get the flour. Bring the flour back. All right, so now we're going to put the flour and the milk and uh, flavoring in alternately. We're going to start with the flour and end with the flour. And before we do that, of course, you know, before you really get started, go ahead and um, start your oven, turn your oven on. We're going to set the oven at 325. So it'll be ready when you're ready, you know, so it'll be ready for the cake once you finish. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get this flour added in here. Okay. So about a, a cup, roughly. We don't have to measure it. Start it a little slow. And then we'll add the milk. We're going to add about half of the milk. Okay. We we'll just, we'll just want this to mix in. And you don't want it at a high, you know, we're not going to take it up to a high speed. Okay, that's good. Again, because we don't want to beat this a lot extensively, okay? I think that looks good. That's fine. I don't, I don't think we need to scrape down this time. Oh, oh my goodness. It smells good. All right, so let's put some more flour in. Another third, which is another, we'll put another, about a cup in. Okay. Okay, and then we'll put ooh, ooh, we'll put the last of the flour in, and then mix that in. Again, we're just going to mix it. We're just going to mix it until the flour is just mixed in. it down just a little bit just to make sure we got all the flour in there all right one little quick all right I, I think that should do it it looks good all right now let's get our pan ready All right, so now I'm preparing your pan. You can do it this the way I'm gonna do it, the old school way, or you can do it the other way with the, um, I'm just gonna take the shortening and coat the pan, and then I'm going to sprinkle flour over it. You can do it that way, or you can use the, I think it's called Baker's Joy, where it's a flour and shortening, um, spray it's you know it's mixed in together it's already done for you you can go that way too but just make sure whatever you do make sure it's coated thoroughly because you don't want your cake sticking to the pan okay I'm just getting the bottom first well I did the tube first and then the bottom okay I'm just kind of going back over it 
So let me make sure. And I'm using just some plastic wrap to help with the smoothing it. That way it's not all over your fingers. And it just, I think it makes it a little smoother in going in. Okay, I'm just going around and up the sides. Or I guess you could just, if you can do it that way, like this, I mean, that's good too. But it seems like this is going well. That's for, especially for those of you who, you know, have never made a cake before, you know. All right. So we have the shortening here. Okay, can you see it? I don't know if you can really see it, but there you go. So now we'll put the flour in. All right, so I'm going to um, get the tube first. So I'm just shaking a little bit in, okay? And then I'm gonna get this side. I guess if I could do it like that, I could get a little more coverage. Uh-oh, I went through the middle. All right, I guess that's good. And, all right, let's see. All right, so we're gonna cover, cover the bottom, okay? I may have to come back and get that tube, get to put a little bit more on that tube, okay? All right, so we've got the bottom, and let's do the sides now. I don't know if you can see me, okay? Just kind of. And I'm trying to tip it, tilt, tip it to come up the sides. Okay. We want it all covered. All right. And then I'm going to put a little bit more before I shake it out. I'm going to get a spoon and just maybe that'll help me uh, get the tube a little bit better. Okay. This is the side that I missed. All right, and so then what's left, you can just see it, there's a little bit left and we'll just shake that out. All right, I had forgotten that I needed to do a couple of samplers, so I had to get the dishes ready for the uh, sample cakes. So let's go ahead and get the batter into the pan. side for a minute and just put it in get a cup little bit in here I guess that should be enough all right now we'll finish this off All right, that does it. Let's try to get this. Okay. All right. And we're going to just try to make sure we don't have any bubbles. Oh, this makes so much noise, but it is a necessary evil, so to speak. I don't know if you saw that little air bubble. But... All right, so we, you, you do, we're doing that so that uh, you do that so you can get the air bubbles out. All right. So now this is ready to go into the oven, a 325 degree oven for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. It kind of depends on your oven. So I would say set it for an hour, check it for doneness, and then if it's not done at that time, then put it in for, you know, maybe five, 10 more minutes or so, you know, you want to just check it. So it kind of depends on your oven. 
All right, here's our cake. It's been cool. It's been out of the oven and cooling for about 10 minutes. We left it, uh, we let it, ended up letting it cook for about an hour and 10 minutes. And so here it is. Now you can, as you can see, this crust here has, it's like risen up. And so when I flip it out, uh, we'll see what happens. All right. So we're going to turn it over to get it out of the pan, but we had to let it sit for about 10 minutes to cool. All right. Let's see. All right. There it is. Good. Now let's flip it over onto the cooling rack. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can hold that. Okay. Oh boy. There. Oh, it didn't do that. Thank the Lord. All right. Set it here like that. Okay. All right, let's move this out of the way because we're going to make the glaze that goes over the top of it. All right, so now to make the glaze, and I will say the glaze is what makes this cake special, especially for the holidays. <laughs> and so what we'll do, we'll take a half a cup of sugar, which I've already measured in here, a quarter cup of water, okay, and then we're going to add six, yes, I said six, not five, but we add, we're going to add six half teaspoons of flavor to that. And so this is the almond, and that's the, the almond is what we didn't use in the cake. That's the sixth one, actually, okay? So we got a half a teaspoon of almond. And then we're going to do a half teaspoon of vanilla. A half teaspoon of the rum extract. A half teaspoon of lemon, one half teaspoon of coconut, and this is number five, okay? And then a half teaspoon of the butter. All right, and then let's just stir this before we put it on the burner, because I've got it warm. Ooh, ooh, oops, yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try to get this Kind of mix together a little bit before we start and what we want to do is we want to heat this to a boil and then we're going to you know let it boil until or cook until the sugar is dissolved okay so we're boiling i'm gonna let it go a little Can you see the boil? Okay. Okay, I don't know what happened. All right. So we're gonna, we're almost, almost finished. Drizzling down the center. All right, that's it. So now that we've got this all glazed, here, let me raise it up so you can see it a little better. Okay. 
you can see it kind of shim it's a little shiny there you can see the shimmer from the sugar okay Woo! <laughs> be careful there all right we don't want to lose it okay let me see if you can see the sides see that okay we had a little bit drizzle All right, so now we'll just let it cool. And that's that's our five flavor. Or if you want us to call it a six, because there are six flavors in the glaze, but it's actually called a five flavor cake. Oh, one more thing. I forgot about my little samplers. Here they are. And we'll, we'll, we're gonna try these, all right? Okay, I didn't put any of the glaze on, but that's okay. We just, we just want to check the cake, make sure all is well. All right. Okay. All right. So now let's um, try our little, one of our little samplers. Uh-oh, I should have taken this out while it was still warm. <laughs> I hope I'll be able to get it out easily. Okay, let's give her a try. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna do that, get the crumbs over there, and then I'll set that there. So I'm gonna cut into this one, I hope. I didn't leave it in the oven too long. I think I, I left the samplers in for about 35 minutes, maybe a little bit too long, but it's got a crisp outer shell and it, it looks good. The texture looks good. Okay. This wraps up my five flavor cake video. And even though we had that one little mechanical snafu, you know, the one where my mixer stopped working in the middle of creaming the butter and the sugar, it's as though it didn't happen because my cake turned out so nicely. I am very much pleased with it. And I'm sure if you try this recipe, you will just love it, love it, love it, especially with that six flavor glaze drizzled over the top. And I'm telling you, the aroma is just so oh, wonderful. As I close, I'd like to thank you for joining me. I pray that you saw or heard something that was beneficial to you. And one last thing, remember to click the thumbs up like button and subscribe to my channel. That is Viney B's Homemaker Experience and share it with your family and friends. Also, click the notification bell so that you will be alerted each time I upload a new video. Thank you again for joining me and until next time, goodbye.